Local church is looking for answers on what to do about their $8,000 electricity bill. St. Paul United Methodist Church was charged a surge rate during the February freeze and is still trying to dispute those charges. Marley Capper has their story. Regular bill for this month would have been $1,362 and they're asking for $8,000. St. Paul United Methodist Church is searching for answers. This next one, our regular charge is about $12 and they're asking for almost 60 on what to do about their electricity bill overages. The church has four electric meters and they receive four electric bills, each covering a different area of the church. And the largest part of their bill covers their AC refrigeration units and their bill also includes their sanctuary. Normally their bill adds up to about $1,500, but after that Texas storm, they're being asked to pay an additional $8,000. The electric company Mid American Energy Services says they had to sign extra monies due to ERCOT charges, but the church is wondering why them. We don't know any other groups that are having to pay that. Scott Yarborough, director of finances for the church, says it's not that the church can't afford to pay it, but claims we didn't have electricity for nearly three days of the storm. And now we're getting charged an extra $8,000 for electricity that for a big part of the freeze we didn't even have. So far, they've only gotten a letter from MidAmerican telling them they're obligated to pay. They haven't called or reached out or said, hey, we're sorry, we're having to charge this. Even though their contract stipulates they have a fixed price of four cents per kilowatt hour. They had seven days that had outrageous prices. Instead of our fixed price, one day was priced at $2.70 something cents a kilowatt. We reached out to MidAmerican and they say they recognize the church disputed the charge, but they're following ERCOT's ancillary fee recommendation. The church still has no resolution. In Abilene, Marley Capper, KRBC, Abilene's local news. Thank you, Marley. The church says this will only prevent them from spending $8,000 towards their ministry and helping the, out the community. They're now reaching out to the state of Texas and FEMA for extra help.